Don't dim your light and cater to other people's insecurities. Embarrassment and awkward moments are totally by choice. Life becomes easier once you start being bold. Flying across the country for a fried chicken sandwich is liberating. Treat the doorman like you'd treat the owner of the building. You can learn something from everyone. I wish more people understood this because the people who have impacted me the most are servers like the person I'm talking to here or any customer service worker since they've dealt with every type of human. Don't save your fancy items for special occasions. Wear them proudly any day. Every day is a special occasion. Life is too short. The tinier the purse, the bigger the energy. Dancing by myself like a white girl in Phi Phi Kappa Delta Airlines is also liberating. They're on to something. Our parents did the best they could, even if it wasn't enough. And since I'm an adult, I can pick and choose my family. Family includes those who love you unconditionally and respect you. Tell those people you love them more often. You never know how much time you'll have left. If you see something, say something. Too many people turn a blind eye to others because we're naturally selfish as humans and people tend to ignore other people who need help, especially DV victims. For example, these two guys stepped into a bar in Boston when I used to live there and a male subscriber followed me into the restaurant, harassing me, got in my face, demanding to take a photo. Yeah, my world in YouTube is kind of crazy. Well, they grabbed me and told me to sit in between them and defended me and made sure I was safe until I got home. Ever since, I've made it an effort to be aware of my surroundings and help other people. Be creative every single day, whether it's a big or small effort, you must be creative. Cook more often and use your hands. I used to despise cooking, but it gives me a short recess from overthinking. Bad bitches need trees. This is a quote from my friend Juju. I think this is a Dahlia. It's a it's beautiful. This was a hard to swallow pill. A lot of people genuinely hate minorities like myself who don't fit the stereotype. But there's nothing minor about my existence. It's really powerful being a woman who's also black and free-spirited and doesn't conform to what other people think I need to act or be. I can be anyone I want, and I will be a president if I wish. Maybe not. I don't really like paperwork, but I have a lot of tweed. And 14, it's totally okay to not fit into any sort of group or not fit the stereotypes that society thinks you're supposed to carry. Anyone who bullies you for being different and not being a monolith is just plain ignorant. No one is coming to save me. Not parents, not some rich man. Fairy tales do not exist. And if you do marry for money, you will earn every penny. So I've learned to build a life around myself and you have to be extraordinary to enter mine. It's okay to say no. My desire to be happy trumps the desire to be cool and fit in. I've distanced myself from people lately who have way too many red flags because my intuition is always right. Never date or befriend someone for their potential to become decent. Once someone shows you who they are, believe them. What's good for someone else may not be good for you. For example, college. Start saving for retirement yesterday. Even though I wish to go spend thousands of dollars on more Chanel and other brands, I have nestled myself into an affordable home below my means and invested in another home. My only priority is happiness. And unfortunately, let's be honest, a lot of that comes from financial freedom. Slow down to speed up. Be vulnerable and don't miss out on opportunities because of fear. Maybe it's romance. This was a quote that I saw 
on Reddit, which is always a credible source of information. Regrets are a waste of time, killing you in the present. I dodged a bullet by dropping out of college. College is useless if you don't have charisma and drive to back it up. College can only add value to me. It will not make me a better or a smarter person. Envy is an ugly, ugly monster. It's okay and natural to be jealous, but have control over your emotions and look at your own ugly inside. Being a woman is not easy. We carry the weight of the world on our shoulders and we are expected to just carry on and pretend like it's all good, but it's okay to not feel good some days. It sucks. It sucks even more that now I am beginning to understand where older women are coming from who claim that men start seeing them as useless after 30 or 35. You are never useless. Don't listen to unhygienic men. Don't settle. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't.